guys welcome welcome back to my channel now i know i look a bit extra today more makeup than usual it will be doing makeup looks inspired by rihanna for a whole weekend it was very hard choosing uh, my favorite makeup look because rihanna's makeup and fashion guys and you'll see how i struggled with these looks look at my hand i could have washed my hand i did struggles struggles but i picked three that just stood out to me they all stood out to me but anyways i just picked three that i really like and i wanted to recreate it in a non-makeup artist perspective way and see if i could actually do the makeup looks of these looks just yo it came for me it was literally like <laughs> But anyways, we made it, we conquered. I liked how all these looks turned out. I'm not going to talk too much. Let's just jump right into these looks. Okay, guys, let's start. So we're going to be doing this look of Rihanna. I'm going to put it on the screen right now. I've already filled my brows because, oh, guys, hashtag, I hate my brows. I'm just going to leave it at that and i didn't define i tried not to define it too much and i just cleaned up underneath um my brow and i didn't touch up top let's start with a dark purple and i'm gonna put a little bit because hers doesn't look that dramatic like it doesn't look like she put a lot and then the rest of the product that's on the brush i'm just gonna put it on the other side okay that's enough then i'm gonna take a shading brush and just blend the harsh line i'm just gonna lighten up the dark um, purple with the lighter purple and i'm gonna go back with the dark purple and just drag it while it still has the light purple i just drag it on my lower lash line okay next for the inner corner of my eye i think i might mix two shades so what i'm gonna use is a metallic um pink with a purple pink color then i'm just gonna go back in with the dark purple and connect the two shades together Trying to be very light handed because I don't want it to be too overwhelming. I think the light pink is not exactly like the pink that Rihanna is wearing. Like the light, just the light um, purple or pink. But I think it, it should do. And I'm just going to use that same brush with the light pink purple and then just drag it down my lower lash line and then in the eyes i see that she has like a gold liner so i'm gonna do the same this i have the gold color right and i'm just gonna dab the gold when i'm using color as liner i try not to swipe back and forth because you just get more uh, it gets the shadow in the eyes which just makes your eyes watery and ruins everything so i just dab it and then i'm just gonna quickly put lashes on and then i'll be right back okay i'm done with the lashes guys putting these lashes were a struggle my eyes even got so watery that i had to like reapply the shadow but anyways we made it it is on and next we're gonna do the skin love the skin a bit i'm just gonna put foundation and start from there first i'm not gonna contour too much so I think I'm only going to contour my nose a bit and that's it. Then we are going to conceal and like I said, I'm only going to conceal my nose and that's about it. When you're working with or wearing dark colors, especially like a smoky eye, I just feel it's already so... It makes such a statement that I feel you don't need like contour. When I wear a smoky eye or dark look, I tend to not contour the rest of my face. I just do my nose and that's it.
Okay, then to just blend the nose up, I use the I use my foundation brush. I just buff the contour so it looks more natural and it's just not like a harsh line how it looks right now. It's softer. Like this. See? Done. Then we are gonna powder. Oof. Okay, then I'm gonna put blush. Okay, blush. I'm just hitting the cheekbones. Okay, I'm gonna put a bit of highlighter and I'm gonna use a pink highlighter. Okay, now I'm just finishing up and doing lips. Okay, I'm happy with that. I begin to fix my hair and then I'll be right back for my final thoughts. So guys, these are my final thoughts. I absolutely love this look. I would like the, the pink eyeshadow to be similar to what Rihanna has. But it's fine. I still think this look is so strong and bold. I love it. I would wear it out. And I think that's about it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed day one. I'm doing my makeup inspired by the queen, Miss Rihanna, for the weekend. See you tomorrow for day two. I'm excited for tomorrow's one because it's going to be very quick and easy to do. And it's also a bit bold, but at the same time, it's bold, but very... I feel like very pretty so guys i'll see you tomorrow for day two bye I feel like this is not working with this whole look but like i just have to give like a very sexy and bold vibe bye guys oh wait 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 bye guys Welcome back to my channel. Today we are in my bathroom and I'm gonna be doing day two of makeup inspired by Rihanna for a whole weekend. Today's look is gonna be very simple and very straight to the point. We're only gonna be needing, uh, let's see, gold eyeshadow that will be used as a bronzer as well. Firstly, wait, let me just show you guys the look that we'll be doing today. It's on screen now. So we're only going to be using a few products. We're going to be using gold eyeshadow. It's like a gold dust. And that's going to be used for the eyes and for um, bronzer. We're going to be using foundation. A bit, a very little bit of contouring. And wait, that's three products. Brows is four. Mascara, five. Um, lips, six. I feel like I'm missing something and also we're going to use like a orange brown shade just to get that depth that rihanna has on her look total seven products and i like that because that means we are going to be done very quickly i've been craving korean food so i'm going to try to get some food but i think it closes at let's what's the time now it's half two now i think it closes at no, it was okay. Eight. I think I should be able to. It's quite a drive, but I've been craving it so much I need it. Okay, so first we're going to start with the face. I'm going to put foundation first. We're going to mix two foundations together. So I'm going to be using Maybelline and Esther Lode. Oh, I put too much. Oh, girl, you put too much. Okay, so I'm just going to buff it on my skin. Why am I singing? I'm back. The bag of my chips in the bathroom. But I am hungry. Wait, let me step up. I'll just be here eating my chips. Just a little bit, guys. I'm hungry. Thank 
Korean food. Okay, then I'm just gonna blend the foundation. I think it's set enough. I'm just using my trusted little egg. Blended so well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, I need to fix my lace, cause girl, why is it showing like that? Okay, then what we are going to do is, I'm going to put a bit of powder, but not too much because the look does look a bit dewy, but actually before I put powder, I'm just going to do a bit of contouring, just a bit, I think mainly on my nose, and yeah, that's about it, but we're going to contour and also conceal. Did I mention concealer in the product? I can't remember. Put it there. I'm not going to put too much. Look, looks like she didn't use a lot of product. Like it was, it was that type of makeup where it's like one product for everything. So I just want to keep to that. I am obviously making a bit of tweaks because, because I want to. And I'm just going to do my nose. Yeah. Then I'm just going to wait for it to dry a bit. And then afterwards, we're just going to blend everything together. I'm going to blend the concealer. No, am I the only one that just feels like this method of like lifting? It just kind of like gives you a fake Botox look. So there we go. If you're afraid of needles, just lift your, use your concealer. It just kind of does this to the eye. That's why I like lifting the concealer up. We can't snatch or make my nose. I look crazy, but we will get it together. Okay, then I'm gonna go back with my egg and just blend everywhere. Mainly like by my nose, so just to blend the line of the contour because nobody wants a harsh line. We don't need to see that you've contoured for life. Then now I'm just gonna powder my face a little bit because we still want that dewy, glowy look. Okay, so now we are going to move on to the very exciting part, the gold. So I'm going to first start as a, I'm just going to apply for eyeshadow and then afterwards I'm going to apply it on the, I'm going to apply it all over my face. This glitter is, all this dust is a lot. I hate working with dust sometimes because it just gets so messy and it goes all over the place. Like, look at this. Look at my hands. Why am I breathing so much? Like I, I ran a marathon. Just gonna apply it. I'm actually gonna just dab it. This. Ooh, I put too much, girl. That's okay. We will get it in order. Then with a smaller brush, I'm going to use this brown orange shade just to define by the, on the lid because it is like two shades that she's put. So I'm going to use just a little bit like just to go over here, just using a smaller mirror just to see that I am hitting the spot. I'm going to use the same shade just to go underneath my eye. And that's the eyes done. Okay, then I feel, then we're going to do some blush. And then I'm hitting right there by my jawline. I can't I see what I'm doing. And then just going around my forehead. Oh, that's a little pink. 
Why are you looking pink? We need orange. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, it's showing up pink in my on my skin, but I promise you guys, it's orange. Okay. For the bronzer, it looks like she put um, the bronzer in the number three. So like one, wait, one, two. <laughs> Okay, so one, so one, two, and three. So I'm gonna do the same. Okay, I think that's enough. Like it has the right glow. Can you guys see? It's let me hide my badly made lace. But look, it has the gold. I like it. Then we are going to do brows. <laughs> we are going to fix these terrible brows. The mascara. What I like about this mascara is it brushes the lashes as you're applying it like it just makes it more full look at the difference look look at this one without the mascara and look at the side oh it's so pretty okay that's mascara done i'm gonna do lips and it looks like a yeah it looks like an orange shade so i'm gonna be using a bit of a matte lipstick to get the because it's similar it's similar to the shade that rihanna is wearing and then i'm gonna put some gloss because it does look like she has a bit of gloss added first i'm just gonna like, ignore the step guys i'm gonna apply my lips just a little bit and then i'm gonna put the orange lipstick Then we're gonna put some gloss. Also with the gloss, we're not gonna put too much. Okay, cool. And then you have a quick and easy makeup look inspired by Rihanna. I'm just gonna fix my hair and then I'll be right back. So guys, this is the final look. I love this look. Wait, I just need to do teeth check. Okay, we are good. We are good. We are good. I love this look. I find it. I find it very quick and easy, and it's my favorite look. It just makes me feel so bright and like a sunshine, a sunflower. I feel like a sunflower. Yes, that's it. A sunflower. So I hope you guys have enjoyed day two of doing my makeup inspired by Miss Rihanna for the whole weekend. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last day of doing a makeup. Or oh, doing a makeup. Last day of doing the last day, actually. Let's just leave it there. I'll see you tomorrow for the last day. Bye, guys. Today is day three, or should I say the last day of doing makeup inspired by Rihanna for the whole weekend. This is the look that we'll be doing today. So, um, I don't know why Friday I felt so tired and just strained and just my energy just felt very low. Saturday I was on an all time high. Today I woke up and I was just like, I'm going to take everything very easy today. Like just go with the flow, like just, you know, wavy, like just go with the flow. But anyways, guys, as you guys saw, this look is going to be quite quick and I feel like it will be easy. Also, I might add a bit of lash. Um, actually, I will put lashes because I don't know. It does look like she, um, Rihanna has a bit of lashes on. Like I feel like they just put some individual lashes. I may be wrong, but this is just what I think just from looking at the picture. So I'm gonna try um, look if I have any lashes that are not too um, dramatic and more on the classy and normal side. And yeah, so let's get this look started. I'm excited, guys. <laughs> I have my glass of cold water because today is such a hot day. Like, it's just, ugh. And I hate, guys, one thing about me, I was born in summer, right? But heat, ugh, the heat just 
does not do it for me. Like, I don't know why, it just does not. Now I'm gonna do foundation and I'm just gonna put on the back of my hand and put it over my face. Now I'm just applying concealer. We are just gonna blend the concealer because it has dried up. Okay, and then now we're just going to put a bit of powder, not too much. We're going to move on to the blush and the eye. So I'm first going to start with a dark shade, like a dark um, red on them on my cheekbones. And then I'm even going to work it into my lid. I'm going to do my eyes and I'm going to go in with the metallic purple and just put it on the outer corner. Wait, this brush is not it. Not it. I'm just dragging it out since it goes all the way to the cheekbones. And then I'm gonna drag it underneath my eye. That's a pink. I'm just gonna go over the purple a bit. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with my um blush and then just grab that pink and then now we I feel like we can go ham with the pink all over the face or well, mainly on the cheeks and the forehead i'm gonna try do a fake bang with my hair let's see if it works guys when i do it Okay, so that's that. And then um, we are going to do the inner corner of the eye. Now I'm just going in with my finger for the inner corner of my eye. Just because the shade is quite glittery. And I feel like it appears. Appear. It applies way better with my finger. So I'm going to use my finger. I'm just applying on my inner corner. Just blend it so it's not too harsh, like it kind of just blends in together. Then for the pearl color that I put on my inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to use that to put underneath my eye and use it as a highlighter because it looks like she also did that. Like she put it under her eye and also put it as a highlighter. That's that for the face and eyes. We are done. I am gonna put some falsies and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done my brows and it's a, it's still a bit dark, but I'm just gonna leave it. I think actually, no, I'm just gonna leave it because I don't think I have a lighter brown. Actually, I could try use this brown that I have. Hold on. So I have like a light brown and I'm just gonna dip it into like my a mascara brush these type of brushes and then I'm just gonna brush it in okay that seems to be working I actually feel like I need to wet the shadow a bit I'm actually gonna wet my brush a bit and then well my little spoolie I'm gonna wet it a bit and then brush it okay seems to be doing something okay i think that's fine that's about it we are done now we are going to do the lips and 
I feel the shade will be what is mm. okay I actually I look at it found it okay. okay so I found the dark pink I think this will be actually perfect okay As we come to the end of doing makeup inspired by Brianna for the whole weekend. This look is so fun and playful. I love it. And I tried doing like a fake bang. What do you guys think? I tried, okay? But ugh, look at me talking with so much lipstick on my teeth. But anyways, I really love this. I find it, I find this look very playful and also very quirky. So um, let me know which out of all three that you guys loved and enjoyed. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Do not forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.